to my channel. Um, so today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial that is on this makeup look right here. Um, my original idea of this YouTube video um, was to uh, show you guys um, a makeup tutorial that was this look. I'm not sure if you can really see it, but basically I was going through Pinterest and I saw a very like smoky kind of gold brown, um, just very smoky eye. And I really wanted to do that makeup look because I thought it was so pretty. Um, the problem is when I started doing it, uh, the eyeshadows started looking a little bit more purple toned and she has a bit of gold right underneath here and it wasn't going to look good like my golds and the kind of purpley brown I have going on that it just wouldn't have looked as good because I was testing it as I was going so I figured that instead of doing um, that picture I would just kind of keep going with my makeup look that I will wear to work and this is just kind of how it ended out um, so if you want to see how I got this makeup look um, just keep watching thanks guys so because I'm going to work I wanted to use my Becca Evermatte poreless priming perfecter um, whenever I use this primer, I just put it on my finger and kind of press it into my skin um, all over my face basically just to make sure that I my foundation will stay as long as it possibly will using the primer. Then I take my Maybelline Fit Me um, foundation and using my beauty blender, I just kind of dab that starting with my cheeks all over my um, like all over the cheeks and then I just kind of blend it all over the face and definitely bring your foundation down your neck or else it won't look um, real like you'll see your foundation line and um, I don't know I just feel like that's not as nice as if you could if you can just blend it out um, and I also put it on my eyes I did edit that out but I did blend it on to my eyes as well and one thing I just wanted to let you know is um, if I'm not just going into town, like if I'm doing something more special, I always layer two layers of this foundation on my face because it never gets cakey and it just covers up way more than just one layer. So going in with my Naked Concealer um, by Urban Decay, I just put that everywhere where I basically want to highlight. So I put it under my brow bones and I'll put it, um, you know, down the bridge of my nose. Um, under my eyes, on my chin, um, on my cupid's bow, and I just kind of take my beauty blender once that's, basically once it's everywhere I want it, I'll take my beauty blender and sometimes I'll wet it again and I'll just blend it until I can't really see any harsh lines or thickness or anything like that. Um, and then after I do that, I also kind of just dab my whole entire face again. Um, I just find that will blend it all together a little better if I like missed anything, um, or if I want a little bit more of a dewy look. I don't know. I just find like after I do everything, if I just kind of like dab once more over my whole face, then it just looks, um, uh, makes my, uh, skin look a bit better. So to prime my eyes, I'll use my MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot. I find this will just cancel out any redness and veins and stuff like that, or freckles. I have a freckle on my eyelid. Um, and yeah, I just kind of blend that all over my eye, right up to my eyebrow, just to make sure that it's everywhere where the eyeshadow is going to go. So today I'm going to be taking the color Undone in my Urban Decay Vice Palette and I'm going to be um, taking it on a big blending brush and just kind of put it on the outer upper part of my crease and just make it really kind of dark there but then blend it all the way through my crease back and forth. Um, with the Vice Palette I have, I find when you're taking a brush like I have here, you have to keep going through because it's a very dusty palette. So it's not very creamy. So basically it doesn't go on as easily. Um, when you dab the brush in, it's just very powdery and dusty and it kind of just goes everywhere. Um, another suggestion would be doing your cover up second because there is a lot of fallout with this palette. Then I'm going to be taking the color factory once um, undone is kind of all on there. And I'm going to be taking a thicker um, blending brush and just kind of make a V in the outer corner of my eye. This will just kind of give me a bit of a um, darkness in the outter corner there. Um, I like to do um, 
like a, a wing with my eyeliner. So I find when I do this, it just kind of brings it all together and um, doesn't make the eyeshadow and the wing kind of two different shapes, if that makes sense. I like to have it all blended together. Um, I was trying to do a kind of a smokier eye too, so I didn't want to just have um, colors uh, in my crease area. I wanted to kind of put it on my outer um, third of my eye as well. So yeah, I was just kind of placing it where I wanted it and then blending it as much as I needed to until it was all blended together. And also if you have to, take different brushes. Like if you need to switch brushes at all throughout whenever you're blending or doing your eyeshadow at all, um, yeah, go for it. Just take different brushes because you can't do any kind of detailed eyeshadow look with just one brush. I feel like you always kind of have to go back and forth between brushes and just kind of play around with it until you get like the look and everything you need. Um, see here, I already switched my brush back. Um, I find this one is very loose. So it's just kind of like, sm uh, how do I say this? It just blends it. I don't know. It just kind of pushes it all around um, and smokes it out. Uh, I was trying to bring the eyeshadows all together and also kind of just um, blend it upwards towards my eyebrow, um, not too far because I was looking at that picture of the girl from Pinterest and I was noticing that she didn't actually have, it was more on her eyelid, um, than up towards her eyebrow. So I was trying to keep it as low as possible, but make it kind of as smoky and dramatic as I possibly could. So now I'm actually taking one of my highlighters, that's by Physicians Formula. Um, one day, I don't know, I must have just not had eyeshadow with me or something, I wanted to make my eye kind of brighter. So I rubbed my finger in this highlighter and just kind of dabbed it on like I am here, and it looked so good. Like the camera's not even picking up what it was doing to my eyeshadow, but it honestly just brought my, it made my eyes big, look bigger, and it just... I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It just really woke up the look and made my eyes stand out so much more than it would have with just a regular eyeshadow. At least any eyeshadows that I have. I mean, my eyeshadow collection in it isn't as big as everyone else's, but um, I just really liked this look, so I did it again here. Then I went in with the Naked 3 palette by Urban Decay, and I took a... Um, angled, uh, what's this called, an angled eyeliner brush, and I um, took the color Mugshot, and I just placed that in the outer third of my, um, uh, the bottom half of my eyelash line. I can't, I can't even talk tonight. I'm so tired. This video was filmed the other day, and Oh, I'm just so tired. I want to get it up. But basically, you kind of just blend it, like place it on the um, underneath your eyelashes there and then just blend it as much as you can. Again, if you need to take any other um, brush, I know I did that um, and basically place it and blend it and make it as uh, kind of stand out as much. You don't want to bring it all the way through, just about three quarters of the way through, because this will make your eyes look a lot bigger um, than just kind of... Um, uh, going all the way across I find or because when you go all the way across I find you your eyes will look smaller um, and it just looks darker and that's not the look I was going for then I just took another brown color and I just darkened it up a bit um, and see you can see here I was taking another black brush sorry <laughs> and I was just um, blending it all the way making it as smoky as possible then for my eyeliner I was taking my um, one and only favorite eyeliner so far. It's the Maybelline Master Precise um, eyeliner pen and I was just doing kind of a random wing. I wasn't actually being as precise as it looks like I am. I just like I was just focusing because my mirror is so small it's kind of hard to do um, but basically I was just taking that eyeliner and just um, making any type of wing. I was trying to go with the same um, V that I made with my eyeshadow there but um, yeah you don't have to be I mean, if you want to be precise, it always does look nice, but I, I didn't really care that much um, while doing this makeup look. So I just did um, kind of a regular looking eyeliner wing. Okay, so now taking my Anastasia Dip Brow Gel, I was just doing my eyebrows with this. 
Um, I didn't show you guys every step I did because I just find it will take way too long. And if you want to see how I do my eyebrows, I'll do a video for you. Just let me know in the comment box below. It's not hard at all. It won't take me long. So I won't complain if you guys do want to see just a video of a uh, just my eyebrow tutorial. Um, yeah, just let me know if that's something you guys would want to see. So next I'm taking the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel and I'm just going over my eyebrows with that. Um, this is a brow gel that I would recommend to anybody um, just because it honestly keeps my eyebrows in place better than any other eyebrows. I have very long eyebrow hairs so I need something that will like be no joke. Like I need it to hold every hair and I mean it's just so hard when you have longer kind of eyebrow hairs because they will kind of just like get lazy with gravity and kind of collapse with any brow gel but this one is just so good like I can be working out and this brow gel will still hold my eyebrows in place unless I'm touching them too much but that's a different story um okay and then I take my Revlon um eyelash curlers and curl my eyelashes just to give it a bit more volume and then I take my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. This mascara has become a favorite of mine this summer. My sister showed me it. And um, I just find it so good because it will not uh, like clump and just get too thick on you. But you can do like smoky eyes with this. It will it'll get thick in a good way, but it won't get clumpy if that, if that makes any sense. And um, it'll also curl really nicely. They get really long. Um, the more you add, the better it gets basically. And if you're just doing a simple summer look, then you can just put on a couple layers and you're good to go. Then I was taking the Urban Decay um, Strange Color in the uh, Naked 3 palette. And I was putting that on my brow bone just to highlight underneath my um, eyebrow. And then I was taking my favorite summer blush by Buxom and it's called Indulgence. This is just such a nice kind of corally um, pinky color and it's got a little tiny bit of shimmer but it doesn't really show up it just gives it a bit of highlight if that makes sense it won't make you like sparkly or anything like that um, and uh, yeah I was just being really generous with my blush putting it all over my cheeks there um, you don't have to put as much as I do I just like to put extra on because I find my face really absorbs colors whenever I put anything on and throughout the night or day it's almost one whole tone again. So if I put kind of extra on, I find it just lasts a lot longer. Then I was taking my CoverGirl press powder and blending that all over my face to set my foundation and concealer and also kind of blend the blush out because um, I just didn't want any harsh lines if there was any. So the next thing I wanted to do was contour my face using my Physicians Formula Bronze um, Booster. Um, and this is just something I don't always do, but on a nights like these where I'm working at my bar or if I'm, you know, just going to a bar or anything like that where I just want like lots of makeup on, I'll definitely do because, you know, in pictures and stuff or, um, if you just honestly want to look pretty, I just feel like contouring my face is a huge benefit. I can really see my jawline better. I can see my um the edges of my nose better underneath my uh lip if I put it there then my lips just look bigger like I don't know I just I obviously makes your face look skinnier and I just feel better when I do it so um whenever I put on lots of makeup like I am here I never really skip this step so for me personally I'm a very basic lip person I didn't want to do anything too dramatic especially with a darker eye like this so I just took my Revlon lip gloss and used that for the night and I stuck it in my purse and brought it to work with me and reapplied it every, oh my gosh, 15 minutes or so just because I'm obsessed with reapplying lip gloss for some reason. I'm not too sure why. Maybe it's because it feels and looks amazing. So that is how you do this makeup look. Um, I really hope you learned a lot and how to do it and everything. I think um, it's a pretty easy makeup look. There was only a couple eyeshadows involved, a wing mascara, um, and you know your everyday foundation, however you want to do it. And then um, any type of color uh, lip. I went well. I don't know about any type, but I went with this lip just because it's my favorite colored lips gloss. Um, but. 
Um, I wish I did more of a nude color now that I'm looking at it. Either way, it still looks good. You can do whatever you want, switch it up. You can even switch the colors of the eyeshadows up if you want. This is a very basic um, makeup look. Uh, it's just very kind of, well, not very dark, but it's pretty dark. Um, for an everyday makeup look. I'm going to work so it works for me since I work at a bar and a lot of people wear darker makeup. Um, so yeah, if you uh, like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Um, that would really help me a lot, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!